Hey guys, so our today's topic is um, science and in science we are going to do air and water. It is, uh, I think, in your classes, in third class, it is a um, chapter also in science and so let's start. Air and water. First, we'll write And make notes about air and water so it would be easy to give examination of the chapter okay so the first question which will which you will write is forms of water the three forms of water ice which is a solid form and water which is the main form and it is a liquid one and water vapor it is steam okay the sources of water the sources of water means where the water is found from the first source of water is groundwater the second one lake third one sea fourth one ocean and the last one is Last one is rain and it could be snow also when it falls down the snow falls down it melts and turn into water and okay so the next thing which you have to write is um, water solid forms of water and liquids or gas from water so below the water point and you will write uh, water only because nothing else could be come in the water point and the second one you will write is solid the solid is snow and ice because snow is very solid when summers come at that time it melts and the third one is liquid and you will write liquid slash gas so that is water vapor so the next one is all you can write this point all living things need water to live and the second point three and a half water means you can say three ha um three fourths water of earth surface co is covered with water so um put a full line on your copy and write air contains water vapor and dust particles so leave one more line and write oxygen and carbon dioxide are the forms of important gases that are resumed for both plants and animals okay so now write Composition of air. Take underline and after the underline and write nitrogen. Next line, underline oxygen. Next line, underline and carbon dioxide. So now I'm I will tell you what to write in the underlines, and that is percentage of water. Sorry, percentage of all the gases. So, how much percent is the nitrogen is, oxygen is, and carbon dioxide, and other gases. So, do, no need to write other gases. You can remember it. What are the other gases? Okay. So, in the in for the nitrogen in the underline, write um seventy eight percent. It's seventy eight percent. And oxygen twenty one percent. And carbon dioxide one person and other gases are also one person you have to remember the other gases point 
So I think the other gases name will come in higher classes. So I I will not tell the name of them. Okay. So characteristics of air. Put take a new point and write them. And in characteristics of air, put a point and write air occupies space whenever there is a substance C. So like air occupies space, we all know that we have learned in um, second and first class also. I don't think in first class, but in second class, you have learned that air occupies space means if you will blow a bu balloon it has space air occupies space so in it air occupies space so that is the example okay so the second point air has mass mass means weight it has weight but less weight moving or blowing air is called wind See, a normal air means a moving, easy moving, and blowing air is called mo um, wind, but a little fast speed. So, if it is, don't write this point, I'm straightly telling you. So, if the um, your air is very slowly moving, that is called breeze. You have learned in second class or like that, any classes. So, for now, bye bye friends. See you in my next video.